The Virtual Patriots aerobatic team contacted me with a question about the Portable Aviation Combat Simulator, or PAX as we call it. PAX has a side mounted joystick and the question was, how can you install the joystick in the center? In addition, they saw pictures on our website that showed a flight simulator with a center mounted joystick. How did we do that? Well, by the way, this is the old air combat training simulator and we built this a long time ago, long before we started the DIY flight sim videos. Well, first of all, there is something to consider when talking about flight simulators and joysticks. If you've ever flown or sat in an airplane capable of acrobatic flight, you notice quickly that the pilot has to be capable of some acrobatics just to climb into the seat. But we didn't want our flight simulators to be difficult to get in and out of, and we definitely didn't want anyone to trip and fall. That's why PAX has a side-mounted joystick. But in the early days, we did experiment with a center joystick. And the one you see here was actually on a hinged lever. And it worked like this. The lever would hang vertically from the instrument panel so you could get in and sit down. When finished flying, you pulled this cord and lowered the joystick so you could get out easily. This worked okay, but I don't think it would work for a virtual aerobatic team because the hinge has a little bit of play in it, which is not ideal for precise maneuvering. Fortunately, we can easily modify packs with a center mounted joystick. We can extend the existing frame forward and up and attach a joystick to it. See, here's the original seat frame. Unbolt and remove the seat. We're going to remove the two 90 degree elbows on the front of the frame. We assembled this with self drilling screws so disassembly is easy. See right here we replaced the 90 degree elbows with T-shaped connectors. This is a 3 inch length of pipe there. That's a 90 degree elbow. And here's another 3 inch length of pipe. And another 90 degree elbow. In between is a 4 inch length of pipe connected to the other side. On top is a 1x6 board cut 6 inches long and attached with deck screws. We also applied strips of industrial strength velcro for the joystick. Now you can replace the seat. And attach the joystick with the velcro. Make sure the joystick is in a comfortable position for you. You may need it a little farther away or higher. If so, just replace the proper pipe with a longer length and then secure everything with self-drilling screws. Now notice you will need rudder pedals with a wide stance like the Satec or Cytec or Logitech pedals. And it will be a little more difficult getting in and out of the simulator, so use caution. And when exiting the simulator, it's easiest to back out, to step backwards out of it. If you want to get a better look at these pictures of our previous simulator, they're on our website. Just click the link in the show notes. Some of these pictures have never been published before. The transcript for this video is also posted there. And here's a link to the Virtual Patriots aerobatic team. They have really excellent videos. I think you'll like them.